Now, now to start the DNA cloning process, we at first have to cut the plasmid vector in the polylinker region by the same restriction enzyme which is used to cut the gene of interest that is the gene A. So as we use the EcoR1 as a restriction enzyme to cut the gene of interest, here we have to cut the plasmid vector with the EcoR1 so that they can produce same sticky end and they can integrate to each other. Okay, now it is cut with the EcoR1 and it produced a sticky end like this. G C T T A A G C T T A A. Okay. Now, if we add this gene of interest, it will bind to it. A A T T C T T A A. Okay. Now, now here we add the DNA ligase. DNA ligase will create a phosphodiester bond between the five prime OH group in the A and five prime uh, sorry five prime phosphate group in this A adenine and OH group in the G and produce a phosphorester bond. Now this is all known as recombinant recombinant plasmid vector which contain the gene of interest and it is called recombinant DNA because it contains two different fragment of DNA that comes from different source. Okay, now we have to transform this recombinant plasmid vector to the uh, host cell like E. coli. Okay, now to transform this recombinant plasmid vector to the host cell like E. coli, at first we have to make the cell competent so that the bacterial cell can uptake this recombinant plasmid vector okay at first we to comp to make the cell competent we have to add calcium chloride at first mix the plasmid vector plasmid vector to the e coli cell mix with e coli cells and then add calcium calcium chloride and give a heat shock so that the cell is competent to take the pl recombinant plasmid vector and now this is the E. coli cell and it is its bacterial chromosome E. coli chromosome and the plasmid plasmid recombinant vector is entered into the bacterial cell okay now this plasmid vector is replicated autonomously and produce many plasmid vector containing the gene of interest okay and now we have to grow these bacterial cells in a medium containing amphicillin so that only those bacteria which uptake this recombinant plasmid vector containing amphicillin resistance gene will grow in the amphicillin medium and give colony Okay, and 
each colony comes from the single recomb single transformed cell okay and each colony has many clone of uh, gene of interest containing the plasmid vector plasmid vector containing gene of interest okay now after that we can isolate and purify the gene of interest from the plasmid vector which is our main motto okay now this is the whole process of dna cloning okay thank you for watching this video